Here in the Inland Northwest, experts are discussing the impact of rising cases on the upcoming school year. Brandon T. Jones joins us live from the newsroom. Brandon, what do you think experts are going to say as we see more future restrictions? Well, good morning, Dana Marie. We've seen a lot more of this Delta variant spread across the country, like you said, and Idaho experts believe schools could see challenges with COVID outbreaks among younger and unvaccinated students this fall, especially with reduced protocols. This is Dr. David Pate. He's a retired CEO of St. Luke's Health System and an Idaho medical expert. He thinks the rest of the summer could impact the upcoming school year, especially in elementary and middle school because those students are 12 and under and not eligible for the vaccine and because data coming out of summer camps. What I thought is if we had smooth sailing with uh, summer camps, then yeah, maybe, maybe we're gonna be okay. But if we had a rough go with summer camps, I'm concerned and we're having a rough go with summer camps. The introduction of the more contagious Delta variant is also a concern for Pate. Recently, he studied how other countries are faring with schools and COVID as of late. He says there are major differences between now and a year ago because of the Delta variant. Last year, we really, even with the infections we saw in school, it didn't really spill out into the community to any notable extent and didn't contribute to community spread. What we are hearing from every country that's dealt with this is schools now do contribute to the community spread. And I think that's what's going to happen here. That's what I fear is going to happen. Pate questions why students who are not eligible for a vaccine yet are still being told to mask up. He says there were big help last year in preventing students from bringing the virus home. He also says he hopes students are given the chance to get vaccinated before restrictions are reinstated, but we really just have to wait and see what happens. From the newsroom, I'm Brandon T. Jones.